Today, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. And also, I'm gonna solve a personal problem. See, I keep getting hit up by folks over the last couple of years who have bought a turntable. And they're like, Caleb, I just got a turntable. I'm getting into vinyl. What should I get to listen to it through? Um, to which, like, there's a million different answers. But I do have my favorite. So today, we're gonna check this stuff out. Here's the thing, people don't just wanna play their vinyl. They wanna stream their Bluetooth. They might wanna amplify their TV sound. Who knows, maybe they wanna connect it to their computer. And they don't want a big clutter of gear, but they also don't wanna cheap out on a sound bar or go with some uh, wireless sound solution that just doesn't sound that great. So I have assembled this package right here, not including the turntable that's just here for looks. The amp and the speaker package here cost about $1,000 and the sound quality you get from it is just outstanding. The centerpiece of this system is this cute little guy. This is the PS Audio Sprout 100. 100 stands for 100 watts, that's 50 watts per channel. And yeah, power is part of the story. It can power any number of different speakers. I've connected this to Power Hungry Monster Tower speakers and had no problem handling them. But again, there's a whole lot more than power just going on here. And we're gonna take a closer look at that in just a moment. Flanking the PS Audio Sprout 100 are the ELAC Unify speakers, these are the UB5s. These have been around for quite some time, actually. And just like the Sprout 100, the UB5 are sort of a darling of the audiophile community and for good reason. There's a lot of magic hiding in these speakers, largely due to the great speaker designer, Andrew Jones, who's graced our uh, offices here several times, actually. Um, so let's dig into each of these pieces, starting with the Sprout 100 and determine what it is that makes them so special. So you take a close look at the front of the Sprout 100 and you'll notice it's pretty simple. We've got a volume knob, here, push to power, uh, and then next to that is the input switching. So you've got vinyl, analog, digital, and Bluetooth. Now the vinyl part is key because with any kind of a turntable system, you want a really good phono preamp. And the Sprout 100 has an excellent phono stage in it. I've tested it against independent phono stages that cost $250 to $300, and it, it holds right up, and it's built right into the thing. So you don't have to have an extra piece of equipment. That's part of what keeps this system so incredibly clean. Analog input could be for anything, uh, any kind of uh, legacy device that you've got around the house, CD player if you wanted to do that, tape deck, reel-to-reel, -reel, whatever you got. It also has an analog output, which means that it can be used as a preamp um, if you wanted to connect a bigger amplifier, although I don't really see why you would need to do that. This thing has plenty of power. It also, and this is especially notable, has a subwoofer output. So if you want to run a sub with your speakers and get some extra punch in the bass, uh, you can definitely do that. Although I will point out that the sound signature of this guy gives some love to the bass on its own, otherwise very transparent, but we'll get to sound quality in just a minute. For this system, I could have picked any number of bookshelf or even tower speakers. Uh, the SVS Prime uh, bookshelves come to mind, and uh, there's actually some great Pioneer Tower speakers that you could purchase right now, also designed by Andrew Jones. But I picked the UB5 uh, for a very specific reason. They are just the full package. This five and a quarter inch driver produces way more bass than you think you're gonna get out of a bookshelf speaker. The cabinet design is very rigid, so it doesn't color the sound. It is a ported speaker, which helps amplify the bass, but the real magic happening with this speaker happens right here. It's this concentric driver. This is an Andrew Jones specialty. What they do is they place the tweeter right inside the center of the mid-range driver, which does a few different things for you. Uh, but the most notable of them is the sound stage and presence that you get, because the timing is aligned so well between the treble and the mid-range is just superb. So you get these guys placed well, they're gonna give you some incredible bass response for the size, and then a very transparent mid-range and really well articulated uh, treble. The transient response on these speakers is fantastic. Again, go look them up. The audiophile community loves these. They're just a fantastic option. Plus, they don't take up a whole lot of space. So if you're looking to do a desktop system or fill up your living room, these speakers are gonna do an outstanding job. So we talked about the, the Sprouts Phono Stage and why it's such a great option for somebody who's getting into vinyl. But the fact of the matter is, the other part of the magic inside of this is a top flight DAC, that's Digital Analog Converter. So whether you're streaming via Bluetooth or you've connected a PC with high-res audio files on it, um, or even just connecting a Blu-ray player or your television, it takes that digital signal, breaks it down to analog, and amplifies it exceptionally well. It, it's really hard to find a top-flight DAC in an inexpensive stereo receiver or AV receiver, which is part of what makes this so special. In addition to benefiting the speakers, it also benefits the headphones. So again, if you're gonna use this for a desktop setup, this headphone output 
also exemplary. So you're really getting three master crafted components that people spend a lot of money for individually, all bundled into one package. So the PS Audio Sprout 100 sells for about 600 bucks, which is not cheap, but when you look at what else you get for 600 bucks on the market in a stereo receiver or AV receiver, which is also bigger and bulkier and wastes a lot of energy, doesn't look all that great in a you know, nice decor. Uh, I think that you absolutely get what you pay for, uh, for your 600 bucks there. The UB5 speakers uh, go for about $500 these days, although I see them drop below that every once in a while on Amazon. So all told, you're between $1,000 or $1,100, but I'm telling you, for the money, you'd be hard pressed to come up with a more, I don't know, I guess just refined system with audiophile grade sound that looks so good and is easy to use. It's the combination of those factors that make it so great, and the PS Audio Sprout 100 is at the center of it all. Thanks for watching, you guys. What do you think of this uh, audiophile stuff? Do you like the speakers and the amps? Drop us a comment down below and let us know what you think. Also, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell so you know when we're coming out with a new video. And as always, you'll get the latest tech news and reviews at digitaltrends.com.